Amanda Bynes' conservatorship has ended after nearly nine years. A judge ended her conservatorship in a court hearing on Tuesday, Access Hollywood has confirmed. The arrangement was put in place in 2013 after she was placed on a psychiatric hold and was overseen by her mother, Lynn Bynes. Shortly after the decision was made, Amanda told People magazine she will continue to prioritize her well-being. Quote, Following today's decision by a judge to terminate my conservatorship, I would like to thank my fans for their love and well wishes during this time. I would also like to thank my lawyer and my parents for their support over the last nine years, Amanda told the publication, adding, In the last several years, I have been working hard to improve my health so that I can live and work independently, and I will continue to prioritize my well-being in this next chapter. I am excited about my upcoming endeavors, including my fragrance line, and look forward to sharing more when I can. The 35-year-old parents, Rick and Lynn, seem to be on board with the decision. Their attorney, Tamar Armanak, told NBC News in a statement, quote, Lynn Bynes is very excited about the next chapter in Amanda's life. She could not be more proud of what Amanda has accomplished getting through the last few difficult years. Both mother and daughter I know are happy to restart a relationship that doesn't include this conservatorship and focus on the endless possibilities available to Amanda now that the conservatorship is over, adding, both Rick and Lynn have been preparing for the termination of the conservatorship for some time. This has been a gradual process so that all parties feel comfortable that the time is right. Amanda rose to fame as a Nickelodeon star and had struggled with substance abuse. She also had a series of highly publicized arrests leading up to her conservatorship. Though the former child star has stayed largely under the radar in the past decade, back in May 2020, she shared a major life update on Instagram, telling fans at the time that she was, quote, still engaged to the love of my life, fiance Paul Michael.